winter is coming. That means snow effects are a must for your motion graphics. So in this After Effects video, we're gonna go through three different snow effects that you can use for your Christmas or any snow-based project. So now you'll be able to bring winter to wherever you live, even if you live in Florida like us. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Hope you're having a terrific day today. Don't forget to smash that like button. It does help us out tremendously. But other than that, let's go ahead and create some snowflakes. So for our first snow effect, you're gonna be able to create these quick, easy snow particles right here in the background. So we have a very basic scene here. The first thing we'll do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. And now we'll go to effect, simulation, and we're gonna grab CC snowfall. And by default, After Effects has somewhat of a snow effect and it looks good, but you need to adjust some of these settings to really make it stand out. So the first setting we should take a look at is the flakes. So I'll go ahead and double this amount so we can have a little bit more uh, flakes in here or snow, should we say. If we come here and increase the size so we can make it pop. Uh, the scene depth is a good setting to take a look at if you wanna have more of a Z dimension to your snow. You can also adjust the wind if you want your snow to kind of be flying around in there. And by default, the opacity is set to 50. I wanna set this to 200 to really make this pop. And we take a close look at the snow. You know, it's kind of blending in with whatever is behind the snow. So what we can do to really just make this truly stand out, come here to background illumination and where it says influence percentage, we can just lower this. And that's going to make the snow, you know, not really blend in with the background. Uh, so that will stand out even more. So now we have a very beautiful snow effect here in After Effects. So this next effect is all about creating custom snowflakes for snow effects, right? So we have our previous background snow there, and then we have this foreground customized shape snow. So what we want to do is first find an image of a snowflake. So I found this online. So I'll go ahead and bring this PNG into my comp. I'll hit S on my keyboard for scale. I can scale this down. And then I'm gonna go to a layer pre-compose and I'm gonna click on move all attributes into new comp, click okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Then I'm gonna go to layer new solid, call it particles and click okay. Then we'll go to effect simulation again and we're gonna grab the CC particle world effect. So don't be intimidated by this effect because there's a lot of parameters in it, but it's actually not that difficult to use at all. So the first thing we want to do is put our real particles in there. So we'll go to the particle tab and where it says particle type, set this to a textured quad polygon. Open up the texture tab right here. And where it says texture layer, set it from none to your pre-comped layer, your snowflake layer. And now we'll see our snowflakes in there. Now, one thing we want to do is go back into that composition we can grab that snowflake layer, go to effect, generate, fill, and we can change this color to white or any color that you want, and it'll update in the previous uh, composition. So now we can start adjusting some settings here and making this look awesome. So the first thing I wanna do is close the particle tab, go into the physics, and where it says animation, I wanna set this to twirl because I want this to kinda of be randomly flying around the scene. And I'm gonna come here to the velocity and set this to maybe 0.10, just like that. And then I'm gonna go to the gravity and set this to 0 0.01 and all of our particles right there, don't worry about it. And then we'll go up into the producer. For radius X, I'll go ahead and stretch this across the scene. And for the radius Y, I'll just go ahead and bring this in. Now what I wanna do is come here to the position Y and bring this above our scene. So I'll zoom out here. And you'll see that the emitter is above the scene like this. Then all we have to do is come here to the longevity and we can set this up to like 20 or even longer. And then we'll take our layer and move it forward in our timeline. And then we'll extend out the out point of the layer. And before I show a preview, let's go back into the particle tab. And if you want the snow to be facing you uh, or not to have so much rotation, come here to the rotation speed and we can set this down to zero and the initial rotation to zero. And all that snow will be facing you. Now, if you don't want that to be facing you, you want it to be flying around in three dimensions. Uh, what we can do is maybe just set the rotation speed up to like 15 uh, and the initial rotation to like 30. So if you copy these settings, you should have a custom snow like this, and you can change the size of the snow very easily with the birth and depth size. So we can come here and set this like maybe 0.5, just to show you that you can make this a little bit larger. And that might be a little bit overkill for me. Before we move on, if you're looking to save hours of time and produce beautiful motion graphics, check out our motion graphics professionals pack here for After Effects. Browse through over 1400 templates with our previewable extension. And within a few clicks of a button, you can add, edit, and export work faster than anyone else on the planet. So if you're looking to save time and make motion graphics extremely easy, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. That link will be in the description below. So for the third and final snow effect, I'm gonna show you how you can create a snow floor that's also growing as snow piles on top of it. 
So what we can do here is we can grab the ellipse tool, make sure it fills on and you can turn stroke to solid color and make sure everything here is set to white. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna draw out some circles, some ellipses like this. And you know, you wanna create some big ellipses and obviously some smaller ones. And as you get closer to the top, we'll just fine tune those circles to stretch in there. So now if we wanna pile snow up, what we can do is open up our shape layer, go to add and add a quick stroke to this. Go to stroke one and we'll add a keyframe for stroke width and we can move forward to the end of our animation and we can increase the stroke width here and you see we can build up snow so you can keep it subtle where it's only going to move up very slowly or you can speed up the animation you know by bringing in your keyframe so a very quick technique so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week just like this right here on sunduck film you can also hit us up on our instagram we have tutorials and other fun after effects content there that link is below and always be creating